Right, it's recording now. Okay. Okay, so this is looking... Okay. Alexa's <laughs> okay, talking to me in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so this is looking at You Will Be Found, the first section of the song, okay, which is going from bar one right the way through to bar 44. In fact, it's, we've got four bars rest in the middle of that four, bar 44. So it, it's really being up to bar 47. So I want you to have your music in front of you. It's gonna be easier for you to look at the single stave music rather than the whole score. And there are certain things that Simon has said when we've been preparing this. And one of the things is always go with what's on the track. Okay, if there are some things that you're thinking, oh, that's not quite right, or that you will always say, go with the, the, the track. So that's the first thing. The second thing is he counts in, he goes one, two, three, four, and there's a clap. And that's what he wants. He doesn't want the counting in, he wants just the clap. So one of the things we will rehearse when we put the song together is counting one, two, three, four, clap. At this point, I'm going to make, ask you to make sure that you all have the track at your end because it's easier for you to synchronize with the sound your end than put with anybody else's sound coming through because there will always be some delays and lack of synchronization. So work with the track your end. That's really important that you do that. Okay, so in the beginning section, we've got a lot of bars rest. We've got four bars rest and we've got 10 bars rest. Um, and we actually need to start preparing. If you're looking at the counter and you've got the, the time counter going across the, the bottom, it's 0 0.55. That's where we actually come in. Well, let that lovely feeling wash away. Or that, let that lonely feeling wash away. That's where it starts coming in. And you need to be aware of that, of that and getting yourselves prepared, ready to sing. Okay. Uh, and then the words out, reach out and I'll be there, or whatever the words are. You, we need to just check what those words are, but then you go, uh, and oh. So you need to get ready around that time. And we are due, we come in exactly on one minute, 20 seconds. And oh, that's a one minute, 20 seconds. All right. And we sing the same line as the soprano two at that particular point, okay. And, um, and oh, someone will come running, and oh. Now he's got some little little bends in his voice as he had in some of the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, and, but I'll tell you where those are in a little bit, okay? Uh, they'll take you home, and then, then it's, and when we come to the bar 27, through to bar 20, uh, to bar 35, everybody is singing in unison. Now it looks as if we've got some very low notes and we have got some low notes in bar 27, 28 and 29 is the lower one, it's the low E. You do not need to worry about it if it's actually out of your vocal range. And one of the things you need to not do is to strain and try and put a, a singing through that sound, just let it happen. That's the easiest of the thing, just breathe. You will need a little bit more breath, so making sure you've got some enough breath, but not too much. It's really important not to have too much, otherwise you get it some tension in your voices. So even when the dark comes crashing through, when you're going to need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken and on the ground, there's that really low one, you will be found, okay? And he doesn't necessarily sing the note values that are there for the words for you will be found. I've got it as you will be found, almost even, but sometimes he bends it. So you're just gonna have to listen and learn where he does it and where he doesn't and mark that on your scores. I think that's the best way forward. Um, so let the sun come streaming in, because, and that cause is very, very quiet on the track. It's very, very quiet, okay? And it's a low note, because you reach up and you'll rise again, lift your head and look around. You will be found, higher. You will be found. There's a little grace note in there, okay? A little da -da note that he does a little blip on it. And the same again, you will be found. 
you will be found. Again, there's a little blip there. And then we've come straight to the end of the unison section for this section, section one. So um, the idea is the dynamics will actually be led by the accompaniment that you'll hear underneath you. So when you hear that getting louder, that's when you start getting louder as well. But do not, when you're singing at this, in, at this range, don't put any, um, any stress or, or any pressure on the lower range. It's just that even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, so let the sun come streaming in, but you reach up and, and, and all of that, just, just, just get the words right. We're gonna make sure that there's a slow down track for you to, to follow and, that, and those little tiny notes will be a lot clearer when it's a little bit slower and it will help you synchronize with that, I think. Mm. Right, do we have any questions so far? I don't think so, no. Okay, now, um, as far as vowels are concerned, it, there's nothing in this section that we need to worry about because, and, and breathing as well, is actually quite, quite easy. The, the breaths are where the rests are. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just you breathe when you finish singing because you're going to go and sing the next phrase. Um, so I, th I think that it, it's all, it's easier for you to realise that it actually, you don't need to be, have a huge volume on those lower ends of the notes, yeah. uh, on the lower, the lower registered notes. Um, because everybody is singing exactly the same note, yeah. all parts, that's all six parts, all six harmony parts, they're all singing the same notes at the same pitch. So you're going to have plenty of other people who are going to sing that note for you. All right. right. So I don't think you need to, to worry about it at all. So the little slides or <laughs> embellishments that Simon puts in, if you want to mark them in, they're on, it goes... Um, bar 24, uh, someone will come and run in and I'll, and I'll, no, there's a little, a tiny little scoop, even though it's the same note, there's a little, there's a little, you should listen to it carefully, you can hear the little blip in his voice, okay, okay. they'll take you, you home, same thing there, from you to home, even though it's the same note, there's a little, a little slur, a little slide between the two notes. It's just a vocal embellishment, which is fine. Okay. The same thing happens again in bar 27 uh, on the word crushing. Even when the dark comes crack, there's a little bit there. A little bit of a mini, mini scoop. Okay. Um, uh, when you need a friend to carry you. Ooh, and when you're broken and on the ground, you will be found. Okay, it, it, it's quite a comfortable note for me to sing that one, so I'm not unhappy with it. Um, so let the sun come streaming in. And I would suggest that one of the things you can do with this is actually speak, sing this, do the words, say the words, synchronize it. Don't try and put the, the notes in, try and get the words right so that you can synchronize the words with with when Simon's doing it, because I think that the line, the musical rhyme will follow very, very easily. It's, it's the words that sometimes don't necessarily yeah. follow through, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and I think that's all we need to, oh yes, there is one of the little bit, I've got that there. Um, it's unison right the way through here. Right, in bar 34, um, at the very end it says, you will be, I think he goes to the found on bar 35 a little bit earlier than where the strong beat of the bar is. It's not, you will be found, it's you will be found, ah, there's a strong beat. So it's, the, it's slightly before it, yeah. just to be aware that he does that, okay? Um, I think he's, they've probably done it when they've covered that in bar... 35, 36, 37, when they've got that tiny little additional note, and in 41, I think they put those additional notes in, um, because he does go from one note to a higher note, but in, in bar 34, it's the same note, and he gets to yeah. that note earlier, right. okay? And I think that, that, that about takes care of the, the first section, really. I don't think it's 
you know, just let the, the sound float through. We're unison with, with soprano too. There's going to be plenty of us doing it. So just to recap, in this section, there's no worry about breathing, okay? Make sure that you're actually preparing yourselves to get ready. One, two, three, four, clap. Practice that synchronization. Um, and you don't necessarily have to count all of the bars. Just be prepared that when it comes to 0.55, that's when we need to be ready. That's bar 15, okay? And when it comes to 1.20, that's when we start. So you probably need to, when you hear, um, reach out, that's when you need to take your breath and prep. And oh, so you're ready to go, all right? Someone will come running and die, I know. So that you can hear those little hiccups, put those emphasis in, speak, speak it through, not speak singing, but speak it through rhythmically to make sure it's absolutely accurate, okay? I think I think that's the best advice for this one. It's all at a, a very easy dynamic level, so you don't need to force. Certainly, don't force at the bottom bit. Um, it's it's actually for sopranos. It's probably on your beginning of your lower range. This thing, at the, I think, at the in the first phrase, even when the dark comes. I think it's just you know, it's not on your sweet spot. I think your sweet spot's a little bit higher than that. But at least it's not on the break, the break, it's below the break, which means that you can actually just manage it very, very easily. Okay, so that, that's my advice to you with that. All right, thank you. Bye bye. So am I playing it? Do you want me to play the track and sing along at my end? Yeah, it's at my end. Okay. okay. It's playing. Okay. Can you do it again for me, please? Can you start the whole thing again? Just that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, start again. That's great. Thanks. This is when well, you're preparing yourselves. Yeah. I love this cello. Cello is gorgeous. <clears throat> And oh, someone will come running, and I know they'll take you home. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in. But she'll reach up and you rise again. Lift your head and look around. You will be found. You will be found. You will be found. You will be found. That's brilliant. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Okay. So we just need to be aware that there are those little blips and just the timing things there on the you will be found both times. Um, 
and I, it, that, that, the line actually flows very easily. I think the line does. Da -da 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 yeah, the, yeah. So what you did was exactly right, and what I'm doing there. So they've got, you know, there are two models there of, of how to do it. Yeah, but you see, I'm not a proper soprano, so I, this is quite nice in my range. This really. So, uh, but I, I think if you're a proper sop, you might struggle a little bit with the with the yeah. lower notes because you're yeah. just not used to singing them, are you? Really? No, no you're not. No, I think no. I think if you, I'm at that stage at the moment where I'm still relying on the music, but I think once you put it away and you just go with the track. I yeah. think it will, it, it, it's, it's a really nice thing. Absolutely. But we're just at that slightly nervous stage where you don't want to put your music down. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Because you, but I think once I can put it down, and, and I'm sure everybody will be the same, it, it's actually really, really nice to sing this first section. Yeah. And I think, I think the, even if you can't quite hit the low notes, I, I, I don't think that matters because like you say, everybody's singing it. Yeah. But I think, I know there were suggestions of putting it up the octave, that note, I think it would ruin it. It would ruin the whole shape of the, the section, so. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and there's always a thing with the music as well. I mean, I know when I'm doing my recordings and stuff like that, I, I, I put, <laughs> I sellotape my music on the top of the, on top of the, the cooker hood, because that's the quietest place in, in the place. And so it's at high, eye level. And so I don't, put my chin down to try and get any of the low notes so having a music at that level will be a lot better and also yeah. coming in warmed up you know even if it's just sort of some rotations and some breathing not deep breathing just trying to breathe towards your stomach and anything at all that gets it going uh, just to um, and vocalizing you know just finding where it feels comfortable humming up and humming down that's all you need to do mm. I'd like to say you could talk it through a couple of times first yeah, which will, will also warm you up and get you into the feeling of the rhythm. That's so anybody right. who's got a music stand or anything that you can put your music up on, I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, get your music up high because we all do that, don't we? We all, we all. And you know, um, this this happens straight away, so you need to, you need to have that view. Um, so you really need it. Like I need it there, it's just above my screen. Really, that's where I need it, so that I can, um, yeah. when I'm watching Simon, I can look at him or whoever. And right. have the music above, so yeah, right. yeah. And, and I mean, if, if you're if people are going to start using the uh, the audio guides, you know, the guide tracks that they've got there, they will need to have that. If the everything needs to be at height so that this is completely, you know, completely in the right position to be free. This is a long song, so we need it to, to be absolutely free as as a mechanism, so there's no tension at all, so that they can say, sail up to those top E's and they can do that easily and just dip into the bottom if they can reach it if they can't just breathe and then come out and when they, they come back into the notes they're fine i think that's okay yeah. all right shall i stop the recording now yeah let's stop now and hope that's given everybody a